Hello, this is HK Slop. I'm going to introduce this uh, task cam 112 Mark II cassette deck to you. Task cam is another brand name under TEAC, meaning those are designed for professional users. Professional users mean they are running in studio and the uh, requirement is a uh, faithful reproduction of uh, music and should be durable and simple in operation so this is how we look at this uh, equipment okay let's take a look on this so they have a standard 19 inches rack okay let's power on this is the eject, so you can put the tape inside. Because of professional users, they have pitch control. You can gradually change the speed of the tape by running this lock. Reset button, standard, review, forward, stop, play, pause, and record. Here. There's a beautiful UV meters. Right here, you can see two UV meters. Nowadays, it's quite rare to get this kind of uh, analog showing UV meter. Mostly, they go for digital using a, a, a bar of uh, LED. And this is more expensive in making it. So I still prefer this kind of uh, UV emitter. It looks like those uh, olden days in the 60s, 70s. You know? So here, quite standard. This is for the tape control. Uh, Read means uh, go to the zero zero tape position. For example, you try to uh, forward. You want to go to zero, go to the original, you just press this button. Right here, it stops at zero. This is a memory position, okay, easy to use. Here, there is two input left, right? I like this kind of uh, analog control, volume control. This is for output. Left input, right input, Dolby system off. We have uh, Dolby B, Dolby C. Normally I put it off. There's some kind of filter and paste filter for the FM recording. Monitor is auto. So that is it. It's uh, simple to use. And this machine is quite uh, durable because of the design, it's so simple. And this was made in 1986 to 1997, over uh, 13 years of uh, production. And this particular machine was made in Taiwan. And uh, the bar is auto set, so you don't have to worry. No need to like luck. I mean, uh, Nakamichi to have uh, manual adjust for the recording bias or SD book. Typically, two heads. One uh, capstan motor, one wheel motor, and one auxiliary motor, three motors. And frequency response 25 hertz to 19 kilohertz, not as good as Nakamichi or the uh, TN or Akai. Noise ratio 78 dB, uh, wow, and factor 0.04% is typical value for a uh, test cam. Weight is about 15 pounds, quite heavy for this size. Okay, uh, let's go inside and look at it. All right, here is the uh, circuit board after the cover has been removed. So you can see here the driving mechanism, two big boards here. And uh, this is a UV signal meter driving board. And this is your motor control board. And this is your logic IC made by NEC. VLSI at the time. So the main input after this uh, spy suspensor, and this is a power switch, like other Japanese uh, maker, they use a mechanical linkage.
to connect to the switches so that to minimize the length of the power cable and also the noise. There are two power supply. This is one of them and this is another one. This one is for the mechanism, I mean the motors and the logic control. And here it is the, for the audio, the two capacitor, 4,700 microfarad. So this is for the audio portion. And there are a lot of IC and transistors. Roughly I counted, there are 24 ICs and 40 transistor and two bridge rectifier here and three fuses. So the ICA many are from Japan at the time, no, Japan. So and this is the Dobe IC from Sony. This is quite straightforward. And these are the three motors. This is for the capstan driving with a uh, pulley and a uh, uh, flywheel here connect with a bell. So there's one bell. And this is for the capstan control. I mean, this is the capstan control. And this is for the wheel control. And this is for auxiliary. So these are the sensor for the selection of tapes because this is a studio. So the tape selection type 1, type 2, type 4 has to be going for auto select so to minimize the operation and minimize the mistakes so the audio portion is not uh, special I think this is a uh, audio portion and still they are using quite a lot of uh, transistor so the sound I think we need to listen to it to tell so for the maintenance I think this is a very good machine because um, only three motors instead of four motors and actually, mainly is two motors. So, the uh, mechanism is quite simple. And on the YouTube, you can see a lot of people teaching you how to change the bell and uh, remove the whole mechanism. So, maintenance wise, it's not an issue at all. So, the uh, circuitry is simple and also, I think, easy to repair. So, uh, this is the motor control driven by these two ICs. So only the concern is whether you can get this IC in the market, but I think still we can buy it. So more or less this is uh, how it looks for this uh, test cam. Uh, it's quite heavy because of the metal chase. As I mentioned, this is professional use, so got to be uh, rigid enough. So uh, why not we listen to, to it and see how good or... The, the sound is okay. So till then, wait for my last uh, section. By the way, I have four pieces of test cam, one one two mark two. So actually, a friend of mine sold to me, so I bought four pieces. So let's try to listen to the music. So play. <laughs> Actually, you can see the sound is quite wide and live. And one important thing is a truth reproduction. So they don't emphasize on the high or bass, but it's quite average because this is uh, for professional use. <laughs> Try 
try another one. Let's see. Let's try some other kind of music. The bass is not as deep, as tight as Nakamichi, but it's still quite okay, I think. Try another type of music. Let's try to listen to this best of Evergreen Oldies Volume 2. By the way, this is the demo pack designed by Tia to press the tape to reduce tape vibration. Okay, let's start. The hissy sounds very well, quite quiet. You may ask me why I have so many percent debt because 
I found out that you can set it analog. It sounds better than my CC, CD system. So actually, I have a 20 cassette deck. And you know how much this one? US $300. So, like new. Why not? Good fun to pay. How about another song? another type of cassette deck so please wait for my next post thank you <laughs>